our next step is to log in to AWS ECR. For this, we will use a AWS action. This is a AWS official GitHub action that is AWS actions Amazon ECR login. And you can see version one. So we don't need to specify any inputs here because we already have these as environment variables like access key and access key ID and secret key, right? So our next step is to build a Docker image, build push Docker image, right? So we need to run some commands here. And here set some environment variables for registry we need the registry for e amazon ecr how we can get that we can get uh, our registry from this step so give a id to this step let's say login ecr and we can get this as a step output let's say steps dot login ecr dot outputs dot registry right and our another variable will be repository so set a repository here let's say example node app and image tag will be our github sha means our commit id and now specify our aws default region so what is our region? Our region is AWS East 1. Now let's run some commands. So command first command will be docker build because we want to build our image and name it as registry repository and tag it as image. Tag. and we will build this image from our current directory now we need to push our image so copy the same URL here for this image and I think we don't need this default region here we only need these three environment variables so now it will build our docker image and it will push our docker image to AWS ECR so now our next step is to deploy this docker image to pull this docker image on our EC2 instance and then we will deploy this as a docker container. So for that let's say deploy docker image to EC2 for that we will use the action that is apple boy ssh action master with it will take some inputs uh, one is host username key environment variables and one script so for this host let's add some environment variables here right so our first environment variable will be registry repository and image tag add all these three environment variables here and now add our aws default region also here us east one right so what is our host name our host name is this environment variable that is server public ip env dot server public ip username will be ubuntu for every ec2 instance that is using ubuntu ami and key this should use our private key so environment dot private ssh key that is here private ssh key so what are the environment variable we we want to pass to this script these are private ssh key 
and this registry this repository the image tag also we need to pass these environment variables that is AWS access key ID, AWS secret access key, AWS default region. Also, let's pass for our convenience AWS region. Right now, start writing our script to deploy our image, Docker image. So, first of all, let's update our Ubuntu instance and then install sudo apt install docker.io. Why? It's for auto yes, and now install AWS CLI on it because we want to authenticate with ECR. Now we need to log in to our ECR right using Docker. So let's say AWS ECR get login. We don't need to include any email because we already have our IAM setup on this region US East 1. So this command will log in using Docker uh, to Amazon ECR now let's say if any container is running my app container let's say name it and it does not exist so it will accept like true so another is we need to remove the my app container if it is running already so now our step is to pull the image so what is the image image url is this one docker pull then we need to run this docker image as a container name it my app container publish it on 80 port and on our container the port is 8080 and now just add your image url here so our complete job is ready so first it will check out it will clone the repository then it will set this environment variable from as server public ip address then it will log into aws ecr then it will build the image and push the image to ecr then it will update our ec2 instance it will log in using ssh and then we install docker on that we need we need to install aws cli on that then we will log in using docker to amazon ecr then we stop our container if it is running already and we need to remove our container if it is running already and then we need to pull our latest image from ecr then we need to run that image as a container on port 80 so now let's push our new changes and let's say deploy docker image so when we push we already know our github action will be executed so our github action is executed and first job is running that is deploy infra so it will do the same like, like our ec2 instance is already deployed so it will say like nothing we need to change So we had an error here because we did not specify any working directory for this docker build. So now let's add that and now push again. So 
so our github action is executed or again so it will run the first job first so our first job is executed now it is building the docker image and it is running the second job so our complete job is executed successfully now we can see our application running on ec2 instance so now let's go to aws console and go to instances and if you go to this auto assign public ip address you will see our service is up and running so our application is deployed on this ec2 instance with complete ci cd pipeline right 